Today we're going to look at replacing the headlight bulbs, both uh, high and low beam, in this Mark II Fiat Punto. Uh, you'll need ideally some latex or nitrile gloves in order to handle the bulbs safely, and also the new bulbs themselves. Of course you need H7 types, a pair of them for the low beams, and a pair of H1s for the high beams. Access to the bulbs is at the rear of the headlight assemblies. On the right hand uh, side assembly you can do it with the headlight in situ. On the left hand we're going to move it a little bit but I'll show you the right hand side first. Now this uh, on the inside is the high beam and on the outside this is the low beam and this is what I'll show you uh, replacing. It's harder to do the low beam because it's a bit uh, more difficult to access. So the access panels are held in place with these metal clips which you simply uh, push out of the way and clip them and then the uh, panel itself will be free to uh, pull backwards. And there where my little finger is you can see the H7 bulb and its power connector. So the next thing we'll do is wiggle that power plug off the bulb. Do it carefully but uh, use a bit of force get it off. And then the bulb is held in place with this sort of spring loaded metal retaining clip. Most headlight bulbs use the same mechanism. So in order to release it, you have to push it in and you unhook it from the little metal hook, which you can see in this picture. Once it's unhooked, it will uh, swing and rotate around out of the way, allowing you to pull the headlight bulb itself out. So with that rotated down and clear, now we can uh, grasp the terminals of the bulb, just use them as handles and pull it out. Um, if you're worried about handling the bulb at this point, then it's a good time to put on the gloves. Certainly when you're actually putting the new one in, you want to be using gloves so as not to avoid getting oil from your skin anywhere on the glass, which would um, shorten its lifespan. So we take the new bulb and carefully insert it back into place. Now these H7 bulbs are keyed. Uh, you can tell looking at the sort of tab arrangement they have on their profile which means that they will only go back in the correct orientation, so you need to make sure that that's the same as it was when you took it out, obviously. And once the bulb's correctly in position, you can replace the metal clip. Uh, just push it back until it hooks back into place, just a reversal of its release. Then reconnect the power connector. And at this point it would be a good idea before replacing the access panel to just test the bulb. Uh, switch on the ignition in the car and the headlights and just test that it's working as expected. And then replace the access panel once you're happy with it and snap the metal retaining clip back into position. So that's the right hand side done. Now the left side is identical uh, in, in terms of the access panel and the headlight itself. Uh, however, you have much less space to work with on account of the position of the battery and particularly the fuse box. Uh, effectively, there's not enough work room to work there no matter how small your hands are. So uh, we need to create more room and the easiest way to do that is to uh, undo the headlight attachment bolts and slide the headlight forward as much as we can. You can't actually remove it completely without taking the bumper off unfortunately, but you can move it just an inch or two inches, uh, which will create the space that you need in order to remove the panel and then just repeat the process as you did with the right hand side. So what you need to do is grab your socket wrench or a spanner and you undo the, uh, the three bolts. There's one at the front inside and there's two on the top. Just remove them completely and then the uh, headlight unit will be slide forward a few inches and now you'll have room to repeat the process which you just saw on the right hand side. So uh, unclip the metal clip, remove the access panel, it is more fiddly but it, it is now feasible and uh, then you can you can do the bulb. It's helpful to have done the right hand side first uh, when you come to do the bulb because you'll be doing a bit of it by feel more than sight. So uh, if, if you've done the one side you'll know how the other side works and you'll be able to do it by touch. You can see here that I'm having trouble uh, getting as good a camera angle as I had on the right hand side but you know persevere there's the bulb proof that it can be done with uh, no problems. 
get it all back together, test the bulb as before, make sure it's working as you expect. Then you can slide the headlight assembly back into position and replace those bolts. Close the bonnet and uh, job done. Okay, hope this was helpful.